what up what up what up this is mike the philosopher here with another one y'all this one is the love experiment oh my goodness omg all right now uh without further ado i'm gonna just go ahead and go right on in all right first starts up is tamara tamara talks to mike she said you know what man i think you're just a little too jealous for me uh, a little too insecure i don't know why mike is like that man uh you know if you have more g bro you could have you could have women coming to you i don't understand why you're so insecure relax but she let him go and i would have to say i totally understand i totally understand can't have a guy like that around and acting all you know ike turner on you you know what i mean and all jealous uh you gotta move them out you know now some women might like that you know but you know they like when a guy because it kind of shows them that they you know care for the woman at least that's how some women interpret love you know but you know tamira was smart enough to let mike go but you know there was <laughs> There was a moral to all of this story all right and the moral to the story is for the guys okay this is the moral to the story gentlemen if you're listening women don't like when you fight for them okay but women like when you fight for them <laughs> does that make sense at all okay and <laughs> the reason i say that is because Tamara don't like the fight the fact that Mike was fighting for her, and Paige don't like the fact that Justin wasn't fighting for. Her. So, <laughs> you know, chalk this up into the understanding women category because I'm gonna tell you, uh, it don't make sense to, <laughs> to a lot of men. It, it meant for men who trying to understand women. I mean, give it up because uh, women can they like everything and nothing at the same time okay that's just that's just my opinion about the situation but you know one man he, he went home you know Justin is still there though so I don't know it's, it's just mad confusing especially if you're a guy watching the show like what, what do these women want now look listen I know that women are different. I know women have different tastes and different things like that. But, you know, still, you would still like to see a little consistency, right? You would still like to see a little consistency. Y'all can see I was just watching it. You would still like to see a, a little consistency. So, um, that would help men understand the women a little bit more. Again, I know that women are different and everything like that, but I mean, they're best friends. They're they're pretty much best friends. Still, still, they're different. I know, I get it, but but men trying to, I mean, how, how would a man know? How would a man know for real? How, just just meeting these ladies how would a man know what he got he don't he'll have to figure that out you got to figure out what kind of woman he got to figure out whether he should fight for her or not and you know the ironic part is if mike was doing that for Paige, she probably still wouldn't like that either but she would complain to justin about not fighting for him i don't know what not fighting for her i just find that a little I don't know confusing okay um next up you know Paige. uh she talks to justin his cousin and his cousin is assures that you know he's a trustworthy guy you know uh you know the cousin gets his back say yeah you know justin he's, he's a you know he just haven't found the right one yet you know and he's he's saving himself for that woman, you know. And um, 
I could see that. And, you know, Paige took it for what it was worth. I think I think his ju- his his cousin represented him pretty well, you know. Then Paige talks to uh Nico friend, Sam. All right. And he says he's more than just, you know, a party guy or a looker. He's he he got depth to him, you know. And you know, I guess I could see that in, in Nico. I mean, we he hasn't been on the show for very long, so it's kind of you know, hard to really say for sure but you know at least that's what his friend said he he has a little more depth to him uh just a quick survey how many of the ladies uh wanted to holla at nico friend instead of instead of nico how many of y'all would pick nico friend over him just put it in the comments i'd be interested to know that uh <laughs> um this is for research trust me uh next up is isaac and his sister right and his sister gets his back she don't spill no beans about him you know she just say that look you know he he don't have an ex that's following him or anything like that she keep it real kind of uh i don't want to say quiet or anything but she keeps it real um safe for for isaac she she makes sure she didn't spoil anything or spill any beans on you know on Isaac so you know shout out to the sister for that uh then Tamara she talks to Josiah's friend right and he pretty much says that Josiah wants a woman of value a high value woman a woman who got something going for herself you know what I mean someone he liked to build a business with and a family with an empire with you know and you know that's pretty dope that's pretty cool you know his his friend got his back pretty good and you know Tamara likes that so yeah it worked out that worked out for them uh then Tamara talks to Jamal's sister all right and she says he is he is kind of closed in jamal is a closed in guy he it takes a little for, well I, it wouldn't even take a little for you to get to get to know him because his sister even think he's <laughs> i mean if his sister think he's closed in, that's just his nature at that point you know what i mean that's just his nature so he's not going to you know open open up no more to you than he is his own family his sister but you got to be comfortable with that it doesn't mean he's not a good guy it doesn't mean he, you know he's a bad guy or anything it's just me he keep things close to the vest i would say a lot of men are that way including me i keep things close to the vest uh about for the most part about me you know um especially detailed things i keep those things close to the vest so you know listen men have learned that a lot of times information that we tell it gets used against us so we're very close on who we tell and what we tell to other people because you know anything we say can and will be used against us at any given time okay with no arrest okay so (laughs) so we're very comfortable oh i mean we're very uh we're very cautious on who we you know you know tell our life story to um so there you have it uh next up mars talks to uh you know chuck's brother and Chuck's brother, you know, he get his back. He get they they look alike too. They smile alike. You know, they both got that little grin on them. And you know, he said, "Look, that's the best big brother I could have ever asked for." Chuck is the dude. You know, what else would you expect your brother to say about you, other than that? So, um, you know, so shout out to Chuck's little brother. He really uh, held him down. Um, and then Mars talks to Henry X and it gets, it gets kind of 
uh, interesting at this point, uh, you know, because she talks to Henry X and you think, wow, okay, his ex is on the show. She must be ready to spill some beans or something. Okay, she she gonna drop a dime on him. And his ex says that his career or her career is way more important than a marriage. <laughs> and that Henry is a husband in training and husband material. Let me say this, ladies. It really is baffling my mind. What is it about these careers that you would give your life to a career and you won't give your life to a man or kids? I don't understand. I don't understand. I think a lot of women and particularly my sisters who have lost the 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 importance of a genetic legacy, the importance of a family. They lost family values. A lot of times women will rather work for the system, work for the machine instead of working for themselves, their family, and their people. Whose side are you on? You on the side of the industry, which really not going to give a F about you when, when you pass away? Or do you care about family, loved ones, children, people who are going to be there for you to take care of you throughout your life? Not just as not just use you up as, as, as long as you you're, you know, providing work for them. Henry had an ex who who chose her career over him and she said he's husband material. My question is you can't do both? It seems like women can't do both. You can't do both? Really? Why can't you have a career and a husband? But if one gotta go it's gonna be that man. Okay? I am dedicated to my career. Listen, I'm not saying anything is wrong with having a good career. I'm not. But this is what I would consider, and I will probably, well, I will call this the Oprah effect, okay? And what is the Oprah effect, Mike? Well, it's a term I created to... It's kind of self-explanatory. All women want to be Oprah. Not just black women. All women. All women want to be either two women. Oprah or Kim Kardashian. They want to be rich and admired or beautiful and admired. Both billionaires. But you point to any woman in this country... And I will tell you, they want to be either one or the other. Okay. Hardly none of them want to be anyone who is happily married. Rarely. Well, I like, I put it this way. If there was a survey and I probably will do that survey. I probably will do that survey. Oprah, Kim K, who else? I don't know, maybe Michelle Obama or somebody. Uh, Cardi B, Sexy Red. I put all <laughs> put all those women on a on a on a scale, and I guarantee you, Oprah and Kim K will have the most percentage. I'm not saying all women, but most they will have the most percentage of all other women. And that to me is not healthy for families. It's not healthy for families. If you're that focus driven on your career like Oprah is, Oprah didn't prioritize family. Now she don't have no kids. 
and you know she, she she'll most likely pass away unmarried not that anything is wrong with that she's 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 uh she fulfilled her position on on this planet she is she was influential to a lot of women but she won't have nothing to leave nothing to maybe her i don't know maybe her nieces nephews or something i, I don't know i don't know her situation maybe her family members whatever maybe to an organization I'm not saying that she don't have a legacy she have a financial legacy she just don't have a genetic legacy and women can get so caught up in career they lost track of the most important thing on this planet and that's family okay now, some might disagree with that. They might not think that family is very important. They think that the dollar dollar bill is the most important thing. And they will worship that until they go into the grave. If that's you, you are living a shallow life. I'm going to tell you right now. That's fine if that's how you think. But you are living a shallow life. Hollow. Meaningless. Okay, you're chasing and worshiping fiat money, which is fake money. All right. I'm going to try to get off my soapbox, but I just had to say that when I seen Henry's ex and she talking about, oh, I'm chasing my career like that's something really to be proud of. Like, who cares? Like. Okay, can 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 your are is your career going to wish you a happy Mother's Day and all this other stuff? No. Is your career going to be there with you through your dying days? No, they're not. They're not going to care about you. You're a number. You'll be replaced by somebody else. But you're going to give your life to this career. I don't even care if it, you to own the business. I don't care if you own the business. Take time for family. I'm not saying don't chase your dreams. Don't don't get me wrong. I'm saying there are there are two different there are two different uh success measures. Women only focus on one of the success measures. They think they're successful because they got a good career or business. You ain't met the other half yet the family side having a happy husband and kids this is what Kevin Samuels was trying to teach the women stop just looking at one metric and calling yourself successful because you are not you're not that's not successful if you don't have the family side of it you're not successful I don't care how much money I don't even consider Oprah successful I consider her rich. I don't consider her successful. She don't have a genetic legacy. The other people know about that part. Okay. They leave money to their genetic legacy and they build trust funds and they have their kids run their businesses after they pass away. They know about that part. Black women. And I, I'm not saying it's just black women. It's, it's, it's Western women, really. But it's black. It's especially black women. Y'all lead the charge on that. And to me, that is just, you, you're being programmed. And unfortunately, uh, Henry's ex, she, she was just another program woman popping blue pills in the matrix and just happy, happy, happy in the system. She don't want no red pills. Y'all remember uh, Phyllis Hyman? I don't know if a lot of y'all remember Phyllis Hyman. I know she, you know, has some some issues and things like that, but she she fell into a depression and she, you know, deleted herself. You could you could really get it could really all come crashing down on you at one time. It really can. In a dark room with nobody around. <laughs> 
I know I'm in a dark room, but I'm I'm good. Anyway, what I'm saying is the loneliness, the the legacy, never married, no children, things like that. No one to share your life with. It can it can it can all come tumbling down. Go like like Ebony uh what's her name ebony k williams or whatever her name is i think that's her name she said get that mrs degree worry about the mrs degree you're not successful if you don't have that mrs degree that misses all right anyway she she dumped the guy moved away from a guy who she called husband material a husband in training she will regret that decision later on trust and believe because she's probably not gonna meet another guy like him um then mars talks to yannick's friend and you know he said that yannick gets bored with women <laughs> he gets bored with women and he you know is he a cheater? Uh, well, you ain't cheating if you ain't in no relationship, right? So, Yannick's friend didn't do him no favors. <laughs> but, never mind. It's, it's, it's just amazing. It's just amazing how things uh, play out. But, He, his friend kind of kept it real his friend kept it real and said look Yannick is um, you know he just get bored with women he just get bored with women so and I don't know if I'm being honest I could see him getting bored of, of Mars real easy real easy so I don't know how that's going to play out uh, but then we get to the eliminations, all right? And eliminations, uh, you know, mom, <laughs> I have a lifetime of studying women. Uh, I find women fascinating. And I find them fascinating like I find I don't know train accidents fascinating like I don't I don't know like it's like it's like watching I don't know it's like watching something just in awe of something and listen I love women love y'all the most to the to, to the core that's why I'm always trying to understand the female mind right but what, what I probably learned the most is that the, a lot of things just don't ain't gonna make sense. <laughs> it ain't gonna be logical. It ain't gonna make sense. It ain't gonna add up. It ain't go, you know, it ain't gonna be predictable. It's just gonna be the female way. The female way. No consistency. It's chaotic. It's chaotic. And you never know what you're going to get. That being said, the elimination start and Mars eliminates Henry. Now here's, here's, <laughs> here's where it gets a little confusing to me. Yannick France says he gets bored of women and he's pretty much a player. It ain't cheating if he ain't in no relationship. Henry X says he's a potential husband. He's a husband in training. So you get rid of the husband for the player? What the? What is going on? Ladies, put it in the comments. Why did Mars eliminate Henry instead of Yannick? 
I was for sure she was going to get rid of Jan. But she got rid of Henry. It's no wonder these women are single. They don't know what they are doing. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Because what from what I see, they make questionable decisions. I'll put it that way. They make questionable decisions. Why would you get rid of the potential husband and you keep the player? Now, if Yannick end up being a player later on, don't complain. Don't complain. If Yannick end up getting bored with you later on, don't complain. Do not complain. You had every chance in the world to pick a potential husband and you chose the player. So I need women to put it in the comments right now. Why did she pick Yannick over him? I need answers. I'm trying to make sense out of chaos. I need some help with that because I think way too logically. Okay. That blew my mind when I seen that. Like, are you serious? First of all, Henry got dropped by his ex who rather have her career over him. And then he gets dropped by Mars who would rather have a player over him. If I'm Henry, I'm like, <laughs> getting my passport or something. I don't know. This ain't working. These sisters don't see the value in me. I mean, they don't. They don't. If I'm Henry, I'm I'm passport broing it up for real. If I can't find a woman here who find value in me, because they rather pay, they rather give their life to 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 their bosses. And they, and they, and they, you know, players. And they don't see the value in me. I got to find somebody who's going to appreciate me for me. I was blown away when I seen that. Y'all, please put it in the comments. What am I missing? Uh, did she make the right decision? Why did she do that? Please let me know. Again, I'm trying to make sense out of chaos. Because it's not the math ain't mathing okay anyway uh next <laughs> page eliminates nikoi all right nikoi is a guy who says he is there to make sure everybody around him is good. Everybody around him is good. He wants to make sure of that. Isaac, his sister, she pretty much was kind of holding back and, and not telling her page everything about about his ex and about things like that so Paige eliminates Nikoi and this is when I started to think look listen these two guys were ha had the least amount of time with these ladies is this a time elimination because it seems like it's just sucking to come in late it's almost as if, and I would suggest that to everybody. If you do a reality show, don't, don't, don't be the add on. Okay. You got to be there from day one because time is even more valuable than looks. This is what I'm learning. Okay. Especially in this scenario, spending time with someone 
is more valuable than looks. So if you are average or below average person, if you spend enough time with someone, eventually they're going to catch feelings for you. Doesn't matter if they, you know there are other people who are more attractive or this, that, and the third. If you're average or below, and you see someone you're attracted to or see someone you want to get to know, spend time with them because that time is valuable. Actually, time is one of the love languages. Okay, quality time. Right. Um. You want to get in the time, and I and this is kind of showing up in real time on these TV shows. People who have the most time tend to last the longest. We've seen this in RTL too. Okay, cats, the most beautiful woman, could not get connected with somebody, anybody, because she didn't have enough what time with them. All right, which cuckoo for cocoa puffs it still don't make no sense to me okay i would have dropped every chick on that show to get cat but that's me but it's it's becoming apparent that time is very 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 valuable you want to win the dates you want to win the time because the more time you have the more connected that person is going to be to you it doesn't that's turning out to be the, one of the single most important things to have on any of these shows, on any of these shows, RTL, TLE, okay? It doesn't matter. You need the time together. And Nikoi, who I thought was a decent dude, he goes home, Henry, I thought was a decent dude. He goes home. Both of them had the least amount of time. Remember that. And it doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. Other than that, other than the time aspect, it doesn't make sense. Um, Chuck and Mars go on a date, on a buggy date. All right. And I thought that was pretty dope. That's a dope idea. Uh, for those who watch the show, let me know which date y'all thought was the best or your favorite or one you would have enjoyed, uh, you know, and and also let me know which one do you think uh, the guys pulled off the best. So, you know, you could think that, you know, the buggy, the horse and buggy would have been your favorite, but. You could think that, you know, maybe, um, you know, Yannick with the helicopter pulled it off the best or whatever the case may be. Uh, but let me know. Let me know both of those. I'd be interested to know. Um. So, yeah, they 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 go on a horse and buggy and, you know, it's pretty looks like a pretty dope date. The only only thing I notice is that. With Mars and with chuck i'm not seeing a lot of physical chemistry okay i'm not seeing her give him the kisses all right i'm not seeing her give him the hugs i'm not seeing her give him that physicality now it's up to it's up to him to initiate those hugs and kisses because mars is the type of woman she's not gonna do it you have to be the man and go in for for that until she gets comfortable then she'll do it but you have to be the man who goes in and, and goes and get that and so far chuck has not been doing that um but that's one thing i see that's lacking with them is that physicality you know what i mean um but i thought the date and the idea of the date the horse and buggy and the tent picnic i thought that was all dope i thought that was all dope um i don't know how much you know she enjoyed it she said she did but i don't know you know and jamal he takes tamara dancing right 
So they do some tango and Tamara said, yeah, I can twerk. And <laughs> the dancer was like, it's not that kind of dance. Okay. It's, it's something else. It's, it's, it's tango. Okay. And you know, your boy Jamal had the rolls in his mouth and he's doing the tango and the chat, whatever it is. And he, he's doing a real good job. I thought that was pretty dope. Uh, it got them close physically. Okay. Uh, they got their kiss in, you know, uh, he pulled her body close to him and, you know, she said, oh, that's pregnancy close, you know, which it was, it was, <laughs> it was pretty pregnancy close. Uh, but I thought it was a, a dope idea. A lot of women love dancing. They love the physicality of it. And, you know, you get your blood pumping and you get the closeness and stuff like that. It's kind of romantic, you know, it's a, a, a physically romantic type of, uh, um, you know, activity. So I thought that was a pretty dope idea by Jamal. Uh, and, you know, he got his kiss out of it too. And well, they already kissed before. So, you know, but I don't, I don't think that was on camera though, but this one was on camera and yeah, you know, uh, it was, it was a pretty dope date. Uh, Justin and Paige, they went ice skating and, you know, it seemed like people be thinking that Justin is a bore. I think I heard Isaac say something about that. Like, do you want a fun guy or do you want a boring guy? And, you know, he took a bit of a shot at Justin. And Justin was like, you know, I was in my shell a little bit. It's time for me to get out of my shell and show her, you know, another side of me. So, yeah, we're going to go ice skating. I thought it was a dope. A lot of women love ice skating, too. So I thought it was a dope idea, too. You know, um get out your comfort zone a little bit if you fall that's all right you're having a ball together and you know uh quality time they got the kiss in too you know got that nice kiss in so and at this moment you know justin say look when i date i'm dating you know to find my future wife you know so and to me listen shout out to justin you know if you're watching brother you know i know you uh you know hit me in the email man blackmanrankings at gmail.com if any of the uh people on the show is watching this hit me in the email blackmanrankings at gmail.com i'd love to talk to y'all i know the show is ongoing so you're probably under contract and all this other stuff so you can't talk right now but after the show i would love to interview y'all and, and talk some things out that would be very dope and you can give your side of the story and you can tell me if i'm wrong about some stuff too i'd be interested uh to hear your perspective on that so but um you know justin was uh you know he said he's he's look at this point i'm like this look they look good together they need to just stop playing and just be together for real justin and Paige, they need to stop playing and just be together you know it it, it shouldn't be difficult i i just think they make probably the most solid couple on here to me is justin and Paige. now is she gonna pick him i don't know because we're dealing with chaos <laughs> okay anything is possible with chaos all right, and, and 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 that's not a shot at women. It's just saying, look, there are some things that I wouldn't have thought happen happen. Like you sending husbands home. Like with that being said, I don't know what the, what the hell is going on. <laughs> okay, I'd like to predict all of this stuff, but when it ain't making sense and the math ain't mathing, I can't I can't calculate you know chaotic numbers that ain't adding up i just can't do that but i do feel like they make the best couple so far justin and Paige. you know and i just think that they need to just go ahead and just rock out and just be together you know um you know it, it, so it it was it was a nice little time that they had together they started bonding with each other, you know, and 
I, I just think all the guys did a pretty good job, right? All of what who I would call the vets, the veterans. So that's the J- Jamal, that's the 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 Justin, that's the you know the Chuck. I think they all did um, a pretty good job on their dates, and I think all of those guys are. You you could consider the vets of the group, the the, the guys who've been there the longest, the guys who probably seen more of the ladies than the other guys, right? So, uh, for the most part, at least. And then the the newer guys come in, or the you know the new draft picks, so to speak. And that was uh, Josiah. You know, he took he took uh, Tamara on the boat ride. You know, I thought the boat ride was. A pretty dope idea you know they got to have a little you know alone time or whatever a little dinner together um you know it was it, it looked like it was a pretty pretty good time he seemed a little he seemed a little shy too he seemed a little i don't know why josiah remind me of 3000 uh andre 3000 a little bit like if if like it could be his brother or something it kind of remind me of uh of, of three stacks but um you know he got his kiss in too you know and they seem to have a good time taking selfies on the deck and all that other stuff uh you know was a good look so you know shout out to josiah for that idea i thought that was pretty dope too um who else Isaac, he took a, he took, he took a, a, he took Paige to a photo shoot, right? Photo shoot was a dope idea. And Paige is just, you know, (laughs) she is overwhelmed with Isaac. And I thought it was a good idea because it, 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 it kind of showed the person that she is. And, you know, she, here, here, here's how I ended up measuring the two guys. Justin is like mama's home cooking, right? You grew up on mama's home cooking. You love mama's home cooking. It sticks to the ribs. It, you're used to it. Nobody makes the food like mama. And it's going to forever be your favorite, right? Isaac is more of fine dining out right it's exotic it's an experience you never you never you you hardly ever done this before um it's it's exciting you know um so so which one are you going to go for Paige? are you going to go for mama's home cooking which you you've grew up loving or are you going to go for fine dining something exotic and exciting and and you know an experience which one are you going to go for that's what i'll be interested to know because that's how i kind of labeled those guys and and i don't know how Paige is going to choose these guys because i don't know which one she she loves the most i don't I, not love love i'm saying i don't know what what experience she is drawn to the most good home cooking or fine dining out at an exotic restaurant which one which one does she likes only she can really answer that so and and mars you know she she really needs this is what i discovered about mars mars she loves power right but she needs a guy who can be a bit of an authoritative figure so she actually needs a guy more like Yannick because Yannick is more of a take charge type of guy Yannick is going to be the male leader or you know he's just going to be the leader of that relationship and she's going to you know let him lead is that the the type of guy that that's the type of guy that she likes and needs but that's not the type of guy that 
uh I, I would say that's not the type of guy that's probably best for her well i would put it this way that's the type of guy that's best for her but i don't think that guy is yannick okay and the reason i say that is because yannick will get bored of mars it's only a matter of time before he gets bored of mars because mars is really not very exciting to be honest she needs a guy who's who's who is most of Yannick, but not the player and not the board type. It, it it's going to be a guy who can deal with her, you know, and, and and not be looking for excitement all the time out of this woman, because I don't think Mars really has much to offer mentally. Stimulus is to me she's not she is kind of boring she's not mentally stimulating at all and that's just that's not a knock you know it's just it's just what i see and i i'm, I'm just going off of what i see you know i'm not saying that she's not an intellect or anything like that but me as a sapiosexual i don't really get much uh stimulation from mars at all really I get it from Paige, I get it from Tamara, but I don't really get it from Mars. You know, I just don't really, you know, I think she's a, a cool girl and she's she's a dope woman and all that, but when the lights go out and when the camera shut off, what, what, you know, what do I got here? You know what I mean? And I don't, I don't know. So, that being said, I don't know if Yannick is more on that. And Yannick is going to, he's going to be the type of guy who, 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 who has a woman who's going to probably stimulate his mind to keep him, to keep him uh, interested. Okay. Whether it be mentally, psychologically, or even toxically, I think he's going to need a woman to stimulate his mind. I don't think that woman is, I don't think that woman is Mars, you know, but we'll see what happens and that will do it for this one now let me get to some predictions i don't have no crystal ball i don't know i'm a, this is just a shot in the dark okay again we're dealing with chaos so i don't know what's going to happen but i'm gonna give my predictions anyway as for tamara i think she's going to pick Josiah okay I think she's going to let Jamal go and I think she's going to pick Josiah why do I think that she just seems to be blushing with Josiah and I think she likes the idea of building businesses with him and um, growing with him in that way so I think and it's funny because he's he's a newer guy, but he he managed to, you know, squeeze his way into her heart. Now, if I'm going by my philosophy, she should choose Jamal because Jamal has the most time with her. And it will be compatibility versus time. And this is going to this is the part I don't know. I don't know what she values more do she value the time together more or she values the it, i put it this way if she chooses jamal it's the time thing they have more time together if she chooses josiah she values the connection more and she values the uh uh chemistry more i don't know which one of those she's going to go with but my guess is she's going to go with josiah because she seemed to be <clears throat> pretty giddy and i think she's she wants a guy she can you know connect with and build an empire with so i think she's going to go with josiah um mars i think she's going to go for yannick i really think she's going to go for yannick because uh you know i just don't see no physical chemistry with her and chuck okay and and there should be by now there should be some physical chemistry maybe they did smooch and kiss or something and didn't get it on film 
I don't know that part. I didn't see that part. I thought I would think that they would have gotten that on camera if they did, because that's the only couple I've seen that didn't kiss. But I think she's going to go with Yannick because Yannick shows leader to her and she needs a leader. If I'm being honest, I don't think that leader is Yannick because I don't think he's going to stay stimulated by her, but they're not going to know that. Okay. They're not going to know that until, you know, some, some time has passed and I don't, I don't know if there's going to be a reunion for this show. I don't know. Um, you know, this is the first season, so I don't know if they're going to do a reunion like RTL or anything like that. I think that would be dope if they had a, a, a reunion so we can get some answers, see if they still together and so forth and so on. I don't, I don't know if that's going to happen, but I think she's going to choose Yannick because she got more of a physical chemistry with him and she probably looks at him more as a leader to and, and, and someone she's looking for so i think she's probably going to choose young as for Paige, uh it's a hard one it's a hard one um i i'm gonna have to go with justin though i think she's gonna choose mama's home cooking and go with justin um i think there is still some questions about isaac and, and as far as his uh ex-girlfriend and and things like that you know i think she's and Paige is probably the one i'm wrong on if I, if i if i'm gonna be wrong on one i think it's gonna be Paige because Paige makes some decisions that <laughs> i'd be like i don't i don't understand like I, i'm like that with pretty much all of them right but Paige, i'm really like i don't understand i don't understand that decision like Okay, so you know, you 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 sent Nikoi home. Okay, I don't know. She just makes a lot of questionable decisions to me. So she could really go either way. But I'm I'm gonna go with Justin. Um, I just see them as a couple already, and you know, I see Isaac as some kind of. I don't want to say play toy, but I, I just see I just see her more infatuated with Isaac. Okay, she likes the way he looks, and you know he's he's dreamy to the eyes. He can kiss more. He, you know, she if I if I'm being honest, she'll she'll probably I, I don't know if I should say that. I I, I she probably get more physical with Isaac before she do Justin. I I, I mean. I just put it that way because because she's infatuated more with Isaac. She's infatuated with how he looks and she's just, you know, dreamy in awe, in, in awe of him. So. So, you know, there you have it with these ladies, these gentlemen, the love experiment. Let me know what y'all think. Am I off on something? Did I miss something? Uh, what? What do you have to add to this? Uh, I'd be interested to know. Hit the like, share, and subscribe for real. I'm not just talking when I say that. Hit the like, share, and if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Okay. We're gonna get into the uh, we're gonna get into the finale, and we're gonna get into make that move uh, next week. So all that being said, I catch y'all in the next one. Peace.